On the west coast of the United States, it's not just the supervolcanoes of Yellowstone, Long Valley Caldera, which are neighboring each other. It's glacial glacier peak eruption that is a high threat volcano, more dangerous than Yellowstone. Glacier Peak in the heart of Washington State is a bigger risk, quote, capable of eruption, end quote, than a Yellowstone supervolcano. And this is what the officials are warning. This is by Sebastian Kelly on Express UK. Glacier Peak, the giant stratovolcano in the U.S. Cascadic Volcanic Arch. It has a history of violent explosive eruptions. The United States Geological Survey, USGS, notes the volcano runs a very high, quote unquote, threat potential, more so than Yellowstone Volcano. Recently, the USGS tweeted in response to a question on Yellowstone, quote, Glacier Peak is a high threat volcano that is very capable of eruption. Cascades Volcano Observatory, CVO, is working towards getting permits to install additional instruments. There is an eruption response and coordination plan developed by USGS and state and local agencies. End quote. Glacier Peak is the most remote of the five active volcanoes in Washington state and is flanked on all sides by glaciers. The USGS notes the volcano has produced some of the most terrifying and largest volcanic eruptions since the most recent ice age, which ended nearly 12,000 years ago. Glacier Peak and Mount St. Helens are the only two Washington volcanoes that have had explosive eruptions in the past 15,000 years. In comparison, Yellowstone's volcano is known to have erupted 2 million years ago, 1.3 million years ago, and 640,000 years ago, and a smaller eruption about 70,000 years ago. Glacier Peak sits approximately 65 miles northeast of Seattle and 70 miles south of U.S. border with Canada. It's on the Ring of Fire. The ominous volcano lies within the Glacier Peak Wilderness Area and Mount Baker National Forest. And the volcano's peak towers over 11,000, well, it's about uh, 11,000 feet. It's 10,544 foot elevation above the surrounding area. The oldest lava flows from the volcano have been dated to somewhere between 200,000 and 600,000 years ago old. USGS said since the continental ice sheets receded from the region approximately 15,000 years ago, Glacier Peak has erupted repeatedly, suing at least six episodes. Two of these eruptions were among the largest in the Cascades during this time period. And Glacier Peak's eruptions are characteristically large and eruptive and are believed to occur every several hundred to a few thousand years. The USGS estimates the odds of Glacier Peak erupting in any given year are roughly one in a thousand. Future eruptions will likely be preceded by strong earthquakes and the emission of volcanic gases. The agency said Glacier Peak may not erupt within our lifetime, but if it does, its geographic impact will vary depending on the size of the eruption, wind direction, and types of hazards produced. All streams that drain Glacier Peak ultimately flow into the Sauk and Skagit rivers. Thus, all lahars and post-eruptive sediment would likely affect the growing communities on these rivers as far as the Puget lowlands. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events. 
events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.